What up though, y'all? It's Chris. Appreciate you connecting with me on this fine day. It's a good day for walking. Good day to get in them 10,000 steps. You know I'm gonna get them in no matter what, but I certainly prefer getting them in on a day like this than not. The subject this time around is gonna be being her best option and why you should be her best option. Now being her best option it's really about you and your journey with self-improvement. Like you upgrading yourself, you becoming the best version of yourself, you doing everything that you can to better you. Focusing on improving you. That's the great thing about this, is that being her best option doesn't really require you to do anything for her. It requires you doing for you. How great is that? You can focus on you doing everything for you improving you upgrading you and in turn that's making you more attractive to her you don't become more attractive to her by buying her this and doing that or showering her with comments and all that sort of stuff because if she's an attractive woman she's already used to getting comments she's already used to guys saying hey beautiful and all that sort of stuff so you don't become more attractive to her by wasting your time doing that sort of stuff you become more attractive to her by just simply upgrading yourself it's sexy that you are a guy that is going to put you first like really you putting you first is a very attractive aspect and that's why you should do it you have no reason not to do it so what do you do to become her best option you, as I've said, get your money together. That's going to benefit you. So why not do it? You know, um, you got to get your body together. You got to get your money together. You got to get, uh, you know, your hygiene together. You got to get your clothing together. You do all these things, but they're all for your benefit. There's no downside to this. It's all for your benefit. Sit here right quick. <laughs> It's all for your benefit. All these things. Get your body together. Get your money together. Get your wardrobe together. Get your hygiene together. All these things benefit you and they make you more attractive to her. You have a lot less issues with a woman when you're her best option. I'm telling you that from experience. When you are a woman's best option and she knows it, she gives you a lot less problems, a lot less grief. Women don't cheat on dudes that they know is their best option because why would they? She looks at you and she's like, this is my man. This is the best guy that I can get and I can't believe this is my man. <laughs> you don't run into them silly problems. You know, her arguing with you all the time about goofy stuff, her picking fights with you about the dumbest things. You know, like, you just don't worry about those things. These are struggles that, that men have when a woman does not believe that this is the best that she can do. When she believes she can do better than you, she's going to give you issues that reflect that. All right, like these behavior patterns, they're very easy to read. I'm telling you from experience, you do not have these type of problems with women when she looks at you and she's like, damn, my man is fine. Damn, my man, you know, got himself together. My man got his money together. My man exercises. You don't have these problems. I mean, fact. She's going to her girlfriends bragging about what a catch you are, making them jealous. She happily brags about you, showing pictures of you to her girlfriends and whatnot. Now, she's not going to do that for a guy that she's embarrassed by or feels like she can do better than. So that's very important for you to become the best version of yourself and be her best option. There is no downside to becoming the best option. You're not worried about certain things either when you know she's your best option. You can get away with things, and I'm not saying you should try this, but you get away with things a bit more when you're her best option. That just is what it is. We got some sort of trip going on here. We got these two boats here. The Diamond Bell. And what's the other one? And the Diamond Queen. I've walked past these boats plenty, but I've never always knew their names. I knew they were Diamond something. I couldn't remember if it was uh, Diamond Princess. 
and Diamond Queen. What I see is Diamond Bell and Diamond Queen. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. There's no reason not to be her best option. It's 100% beneficial for you. You get to invest in yourself as much as you want. Being the better version of yourself as much as you possibly can. You get to focus on you. Building you up. And the end result is your relationship is better for it. You don't have to put any work into that. There are things that you have to do for your relationship, but focusing on you, making you better is one of the best things that you can do for your relationship. Your woman's gonna be happier with you because you're a guy that she can be proud of. You know, she's gonna give you less grief because she wants to please you more than upset you. Women that are all attracted to their man and enamored with their man, they don't waste time doing all these goofy arguments and stuff about petty things. The last thing they want is for their guy to be mad at them. So they're not about to waste time arguing with him about stupid stuff. That's one of the reasons, that's one of the ways, the key ways that you know you're her best option or not. Because all this silly arguing that she's doing with you, some other guy that she deemed to be a better option than you, she's not giving him these issues. She's not giving him these issues. She didn't give him these issues. If it's a guy that she's talking to on the side now, she's not giving him the same grief that uh, she's giving you. In fact, one of the reasons that she's giving you grief could be because this other guy that's paying her attention, she's annoyed that you're not as good as him. This is how it works. She's annoyed that you're not as good as him. You know, she might already be stepping out on you. like. This is what happens when you're not the best option, when she feels like she's settling for you. She respects you less. She picks arguments with you, disagrees with you about different things, is more likely to cheat on you. None of these things are a problem when you upgrade you, when you become the best version of you and she's a guy that you can look up to. When you're a guy that she can respect, that she can brag about, that she gets I mean, I'm sorry, arouse just by looking at you, you don't have these issues. How do you become that guy? Upgrade yourself. Get in that damn gym, work out, get them shoulders together, all right? Get them guns together. Get yourself together. Be better, be more. Be her best option. And being more and being better and upgrading yourself you become unequivocally her best option. And when you are her best option, you'll know it because you'll see a difference in her behavior. And the lady that you're with now, it may be too late for her. It may be too late for that to happen with her. You may be too far gone. And that's okay, keep grinding, keep working on you because the next lady that comes into your life after her will be receiving you as this better version of you. And out the gate, she's gonna have a higher level of respect for you. Dude last one did that's why i say let her go if all she's doing is causing you grief bringing drama to your life chaos let her go this ties into that as well you know if she's bringing you nothing but chaos and all that sort of stuff one of the reasons you need to let her go is because you aren't her best option anyway and she knows it and she doesn't mind losing you really and ultimately she's just going to leave you anyway that's why you let her ass go so keep working on you Keep improving you, keep upgrading you, and ultimately, you will become the best option. And you'll be confident about it. There is no man for you better than me, baby. You can leave out the door if you want to and try to play that game, I'm gonna be okay. And if she chooses to walk out the door and leave you, never ever take her back. Never take her back. You can never do that. Cause she's not going to respect you. If she can just leave you, play the field, add a few bodies to her count, let a few other dudes, you know, uh, bust it open, and then come back to you and you accept her with open arms after she's let several other guys have her, her, her have their way with her, she's not gonna respect you at all. Her respect for you that she was trying to have is gonna dwindle. She's gonna have more respect for you 
and this is unfortunate that it works out like this, she's gonna have more respect for you about the fact that you told her to kick rocks and be on her damn way. She's gonna forever be like, damn, I really fucked that up. She gonna make the next guy pay for it too, but that ain't your problem. So appreciate you guys connecting with me. If you like this video, found value in it, give me that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, shoot me a comment. Let me know what you think. I appreciate them, positive or negative. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.